Another video, just wanted to give you an update on my latest project that I just finished, which is this daybed right here. So I've been working on this project for a couple of weeks, kind of just taking my time doing it. Um, the main goal of this project was we wanted to replace the bed that was in here. So the bed that I previously built, which I don't have any videos of, I'll, I'll try to put a picture in this video, but was a huge uh, play bed that had the bunk bed on the top with a play area underneath and stairs and storage. And it was great, but it was just really big. And also my daughter kind of grew out of it as she got taller and it just wasn't as much fun for her and she wanted a regular bed. So we decided to go with something smaller with a lot of storage. So we wanted the day bed. I got the plans for this bed off of Anna White. Uh, I do get a lot of plans off of Anna White. I like the website. I like to look around and see what other people are making. And I won't always use the plans exactly how they say, but I like taking the ideas from there and then making my own adjustments. Like this bed, the main idea did come from Anna White. I'll show, I'll put a link underneath to the plans for this bed. Uh, I did make my own little modifications, which I'll show you about. Um, so the first modification we made on this bed was in the original plans, they had three separate drawers for storage, which is a good idea, but without being on tracks, I can imagine that being kind of um, awkward, having three separate drawers and they're not always lined up the same. So we wanted one big drawer. And also the benefit for having one drawer is if we want to use it as a trundle. So I didn't make it so a full mattress could fit under there, but we could fit, it, fit a smaller mattress under there and also probably just a blow up mattress. I don't think we'll be using it as a trundle, but Maybe if she has a sleepover or there's a period where um, the other kid wants to sleep in this room for some reason, we can use it as a trundle. Um, so I'll go ahead. I didn't make any videos when I was making this bed. I only made a few. So I'll make a video just with all the still pictures. I take still pictures at least of all my projects. And then I'll just give you a quick rundown of um, how I made it. All right. So I wanted to give you a quick rundown of the bed as a finished project. So... The bed is made out of pretty much two by fours and plywood. Uh, there's some, as you can see, there's some one by three trim and one by two trim on the sides, but it's mainly three quarter inch plywood and two by fours uh, for the frame of it. Uh, the original plans, I believe on Anna White, wanted you to use one by 12 pine boards or whatever kind of board you want. But I think they do that for the simplicity. That way people don't have to rip down large boards. Um, I decided just to use plywood because it was a whole lot cheaper. I built this whole bed for about $150 all the wood and paint because um, it was essentially just one sheet of plywood, one sheet of MDF, and then the two by four. So it really wasn't that expensive. The only downside to using the three quarter inch plywood is um, when they design the plans, when you use these one by two trim boards, you can see it's not exactly flush. I don't have a um, surface planer. So it, it was hard for me to take a lot off of um the one by twos, I guess I could use my circular saw or my table saw, but I didn't really want to do that. And I think it pretty much looks fine. It's one of those details that I it may bug me, but no one will probably ever notice. So the main construction of the bed is the frame. The frame is completely separate from the drawer. So I actually built the frame and moved the frame into the room a few weeks before I finished the drawer. The drawer is made out of three quarter inch plywoods on the sides. I uh, used it to construct the frame. And as I'll show you in the pictures, um, I did a rabbit along the bottom and put in this MDF board on the bottom. So the bottom is MDF and it was mainly just to save money. Um, I, there's really, I don't see really an issue with having an MDF bottom other than if for some reason it got wet, it will warp. So you, I do have to keep that in mind. So we were thinking about putting some sort of something underneath but as you can see there's tons of storage under there this isn't even pulled out all the way um so the bottom is two by four i mean i'm sorry ply, three quarter inch plywood and i'll show you in the pictures how i put together i did just use uh pocket holes but the pocket holes are completely hidden from this face board which is made out of the, the same um this is half inch uh half inch plywood that i actually had um from another project i was using and then the trim pieces So the Anna White plans I built this bed from, I have a link down there, but the bed's basically built out of three quarter inch plywood and two by fours, other than the small trim. The side rails of the bed are two by fours with a two by four, four ripped in half for two by twos for the rails. After we went ahead and put the bed frame together using nails, I mean screws and glue, I went ahead and wood filled all the, all the, any spots that needed to be filled 
including any imperfections of the wood and sanded it down to 220. The paint, I went ahead and used a chalk paint on this project. It's my first time using chalk paint. I did a homemade chalk paint instead of a store-bought kind. Um, you can find any your chalk paint recipe online. It goes on really thick and you have to put multiple coats. I believe I used four coats on this whole project and then sanded it down to 220 before I sealed it. So this is the bed in the room with the rails you can see and then I'm going to put down the slats for the rails. So the slats are screwed in and the bed is set up and now it's time to work on the main pull drawer. So the drawer I used first we cut our three quarter inch plywood and the MDF to a rough size. The plywood I wanted to do a rabbit at the bottom and as you can see right here you see that there's a mess up well what happened was I was using a router I don't have a dado blade so I used a router to do my rabbit and I tried to do one big long pass that didn't work out very well as you can see so I had to which I knew this from the beginning but I had to incrementally increase my size for my rabbit and it, I did that mess ups there you can't even see it it's on the very bottom of the bed uh, I messed up one time as you can see right here I fixed it and this is what's supposed to look like on my rabbits all the way around after I did the rabbits all the way around I pocket hold my drawer together glued and screwed and you can see right here the whole thing's put together I know the rabbits there's a spaces on the edges you can see the imperfection there it's not a big deal you're not gonna see it so now I those are the final measurements for my MDF bottom um, I gave it a little wiggle room so at the end I could fit it in. So I fit it in, I glued it and nailed it, and just clamped the middle. And after that, I put the casters on, and at that point, the drawer is pretty much ready. And the, as you can see right here, I put it under the bed. There was that imperfection in the board right there you can see in the front. It's not a big deal because it's going to be covered by the drawer face. So here's the drawer face right here. This isn't nailed down or anything. This was just me taking out the measurements. So I nailed and glued them down and I started putting on my chalk paint. It took about, I think I believe I put four coats on and then as you can see, there's the paste wax there. I used paste wax on this project and it took about three to four coats of paste wax with a couple hours drying in between. The first coat I did give like a day or half a day to dry. After my drawer face was done, I attached it to the frame that was in there, and that's pretty much it. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment. Like, subscribe to my page if you want to see some more projects. I'm going to try to, I have a couple more videos coming up soon. Uh, hope you enjoy.